might be harder is the cultural shock. So once you actually learn the language and you know what goes on, will you be shocked then what these Germans are saying and doing? Um, <laughs> I personally, it's not cultural. I mean, I've moved quite a bit already, and uh, I'm one of those persons that likes to move and experience different cultures. Uh, so. Personally, for me, it wasn't a shock. Uh, also, because Swedish and German culture are quite similar. Um, so, personally, I didn't find it, no. <laughs> yeah. I think I, um, if I just think back of my time uh, where I came to Germany, I was a postdoc back at that time. Um, uh, it, it is a change. I mean, I, I have to admit I was a little bit afraid of the Germans. Um, uh, the reputation of being very direct. Um, you know, and that you think like, oh my God. And at the same time, um, n like compared to more Southern, I mean, I then came from France, you know, but it's, uh, uh, um, there is a certain distance also, you know, you don't, you don't talk about personal things so easily. Those are the things that, you know, when people get past, you don't talk about uh, personal, private uh, things as easily as maybe other, other cultures would, uh, would do. Uh, and I really then experienced um, over over time that uh, that indeed there's nothing to be afraid of. Germans are very very nice, <laughs> and and one can really spend also an entire uh, life here. And there are real advantages to the the directness that you also know that Germans will just tell you if something is not okay, they tell you, and if it's it's okay, they might also tell you. But you can just if they say nothing, you can be really sure that everything is totally fine. Yeah, and. Uh, there's no, not so much reading in between the lines. Um, uh, so, um, yeah, and uh, German, Germany is, I think, also a very welcoming culture. Yeah, In, in, in general, uh, Germans are really very, very open uh, also to international people uh, coming and, um, and joining, you know, living in their cities and things. Yeah, we know mo most of our audience today is, is British and we have a, a German who lived in, in the UK. So Martin, maybe seen from the other side of, of the, the channel, what what are the differences, the cultural differences between, <laughs> what shocked you when you came to Britain? Um, basically, what shocked me was that they are so similar. Um, I, I always liked the UK, so I wanted to go there at some stage of my life. And then I came to Oxford, and Oxford, I thought, anyway, um, they are so different from anywhere in the world, maybe with the exception of Cambridge. And I found out they are so boringly similar to what I've been uh, used before, for example, Heidelberg. Yeah, um, actually, they are very, very similar. So maybe you can find a few things, but they would definitely not count. After half a year, you don't feel them anymore. And that's, I think, the major message. So you should not concentrate on the little differences, but the majority of people in Germany and, and the UK are extremely similar, I would say. Yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd probably agree to that. I think what does shock people is, yes, the, the directness, which can be almost aggressive uh, <laughs> by British standards, and, and maybe the formality that you do begin an email with most honored Professor Wild. Um, Actually not. Not anymore. I no. still do that. Yeah, that depends. I mean, uh, we are now in the discussion of that thing. Um, the formalities, uh, they have changed according to, I think, um, the faculty or um, what you're actually um, doing in science. In life sciences, definitely you would only address in the beginning, dear Dr. Wild. And then you would wait until um, this person would offer you uh, to be called by the first name. Um, I may, maybe in the social sciences this is different. Uh, definitely would be different, for example, in, in medicine. There, the big professor is still the head of the clinic or something. Yeah, they, they like their professor uh, But apart from that, um, it's become very, I would say, Americanized. Right. I, I, yeah. I definitely think it's also really an, uh, an advantage then of, of doing the communication in English. Uh, I think if you address a German person in English language, uh, you can actually use the, the language of science yeah, and, uh, and, uh, and address the person. So there is, um, I, I, I would even say it's actually a no-go to translate the German 
way of saying like sehr geehrter Herr Professor, you know, the most honorable, um, it's a total no-go to translate that into English and write a letter uh, like that. And, uh, and we've also seen that actually some letters can be awkward if, um, if an applicant will actually try to write it in the best German they could do and, and you know, really do that effort. Uh, uh, because it might really just sound uh, sound wrong, you know, if you try to sound German or try to to do to do something. So um, yeah, it's not uh, not so so formal. And there is this difficult thing. Uh, I have to say, I still struggle with the, the in German language with the formality difference between the you and you. You know, you is not you if you say do or see, and uh, and this is a very complicated thing actually. You know, to understand the social. A convenience, but hey, if you're not German, you can make that mistake, and uh, you could be in the German language. You can learn to use the proper form, but you is definitely the safest solution. So uh, if you're not sure whether you should, you know, call a person uh, uh, Z or do you, uh, you go with English form and say uh, say you, and uh, and as you say, Martin, it's the best way is to uh, to first address a person with the the, the doctor title and uh, the, the last name, but it's not immediately seen as unpolite to address a professor by the, by the first name. Uh, you might still be on the Z, the respectful Z, uh, even if you say a first name to a, a, a person. Yeah, but, um, uh, yeah it's, it's, definitely, um, it's definitely okay, just normal uh, respect. <laughs> yeah. So on, on the cultural side, I think, I think we can say they're small for the British audience, at least. That there, there, there's small differences, there's little things to to be aware of, but there's plenty of space to be yourself. Yeah. And so and nobody will be very angry with you for forgetting the professor title or, or or saying you in the in the wrong way. 